I realize that in the Christian community, we're lacking this real joy. <laughs> we can put on a smiley face, but that's exactly what the world does. Jesus comes to bring real joy, real deliverance. And that's one of the fruits we're going to see in our lives if we're walking with God in the right way. And we're not supposed to love our life, but literally, joy, enjoy your life, right? It feels like a lot of Christians are so afraid to enjoy life. Of course, that doesn't mean to indulge in things that we're not supposed to, but it means to choose joy. That's right. It's a choice. So, ah, oh, take joy in the little simple things in life and you're going to see your life change drastically. Like, super amazing. <laughs> Whoa, we can continue this adventure. Ooh, it's a nice little area here. I'll start talking about uh, something not so serious. <laughs> so, we're also talking about confidence, you know? Our fears get to us whenever we want to do something worthwhile. Satan says, hey, <laughs> that's going to be too hard, and we end up not doing it, like talking to someone we like or going on an adventure. Well, here's the Korean national flower, actually. Ooh. So I encourage you, if you are looking for a path in life, and particularly if you're single and just graduated college, <laughs> becoming an English teacher in Korea, one of the best decisions I ever made. You know, I've seen some incredible stuff, and I've matured a lot. It's super <laughs> like, amazing how much you can change in just a couple of years. When you really dedicate yourself, yeah, you can do anything. And that's not just a cheesy thing. Oh. I love going out in the middle of the forest here. And they have like random water parks <laughs> in the forest by the stream, which I've taken videos of. When I do leave Korea, oh, I'm gonna be so sad. But there's other things I'm called to. I'm learning to hear the voice of God in fresh new ways, so. I'm not sure where he'll lead me, but it looks like Japan is the next destination. Wow, and there's a cool breeze up here. Ooh. And there's a nice church there. Unsan is famous for Christians and churches and stuff, so if you come explore here, you're going to see a couple. They built a new one, I think right behind this here. You might be able to get a, catch a glimpse of it. It's huge. <laughs> like one of the biggest churches I've ever seen. And of course, Seoul has the biggest church in the world. Oh, there's another church. Ah, I think that's a new one. Over here. Oh, well, maybe not. Somewhere around this movie theater right here. That's a movie. But we're taking the road less traveled and going all the way up to the top. One of the fun things about Korea is you can order delivery anywhere. And you can tell them, hey, meet me by this rock. So I could, like, get delivery chicken <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> I don't think they'd be very happy, though. And usually it's free. Delivery is generally free. Except on stuff that's already, like, a super good deal. 
so <laughs> there's a lot of pros and cons to Korea. Con. <laughs> Not everyone speaks English. <laughs> Actually, that's a pro, because that's why I have a job. <laughs> Whoa. That's a beautiful view. Oh, Korea the beautiful. It's so amazing. I often forget how close we are to the edge of town. Gunsan is about a perfect size, like 300,000. Amazing. I think cities that are way too big are just death traps. You know, there's problems waiting to happen. Like, people always ask me, why are you not moving to Seoul? And I was like, oh, I love it here. Whoa. <laughs> now, here I found a great place for a prayer meeting. <laughs> I think we're at the top of the mountain, guys. We found these dice chairs. And I am not sure what in the world this is. <laughs> this is cool. I <laughs> uh, guess you could have some cool events up here. Not a huge space, but... Wow, let's go explore over here a little bit. I need a gyroscope or something. Sorry I shake the camera. It's like hard to keep things still when you're walking. I don't have built-in uh, like calibration. <laughs> All right, I think this is actually about the end of our adventure. I know I can go down the other side of the mountain. I'm gonna have to make a little jump here, but I don't think there's anything too exciting over here. 